In this video, we will learn this type of force field movement easily. So let's get started. Let's add plane and scale 10 times. Now go to edit mode and select this edge and extrude on the axis. Now bevel this edge by pressing ctrl B and increase segments. Now shade smooth and add material. Now let's add sphere and make it smaller. After this turn on snap and select face project. Now snap this on ground face by moving on the z axis like this. After this add error modifier with count of 20 and factor x value 1.01. .01. Add another error in y axis. Now add material and apply all modifier. Now set origin to geometry and reposition it by pressing Z. Now let's go to rigid body and change shape to sphere. After this go to edit mode, select tool and press P and choose by loose parts. Now every sphere become a separate object. Select tool one more time and set origin to geometry. Now select the plane and go to rigid body and change type to passive and shape to mesh. Now play and check if any sphere is moving. Now after this let's add force field. Now change strength to minus 400 and play. Uncheck the gravity from here. As you can see it's working very well. Now change FPS to 60. Let's increase frame to 1500 also from rigid body world cache. After all this, let's move cursor to 60 frame and keyframe the strength value. Now go to 59th frame and keyframe with 0 strength. Now if you play and move force field like this, you will get a movement like this. Now all we have to do is keyframe this movement. So let's turn on this automatic keyframe. Now play the animation and move something like this. After turn off this and play. So as you can see it's looking very nice. Now simply add camera and change focal length and its position like this. Now simply add plane with emission material and make it bigger and change its position like this. Now go to render view and change EV to cycles. After all this select this sphere and go to shader data and add object info and color ramp. Connect random to factor and color to color. Now change black color. Now press ctrl left click and change their colors. So as you can see it's looking very nice and clean. So that's how you can achieve this force field movement in blender easily. Hope you have learned something new. Access this file freely from my patreon page. Subscribe for more and see you in the next one.